Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Taylor Nicole. And welcome back to episode three of the YouTube series. This episode today is about getting over the fear of posting, like the first couple of videos. And I wanted to talk about this because I've had a few people ask me like, how did you get over your fear of posting? And I'm like, that's actually a really good point. And this girl messaged me today, who I won't say her name because I don't know if she wants it shared, but this girl was messaging me and asked like, she wanted to start her own channel. And she's like, I feel like we have so much in common, but how did you get over your fear of posting the first video or two videos that you posted? Cause she was nervous. She's not nervous about putting herself out on the internet to strangers. She's nervous about the reaction of her friends and family. And I'm like, girl, <laughs> that honestly is the worst part because strangers like, it's just sad that it is that way, but strangers were nicer to me too than some of my friends. Not all of my friends, I have some good friends, but some of my friends said some sad things about me doing YouTube. And they don't, still to this day, they don't know that I know that they've said those things, but it was hurtful. It was hurtful because I felt like we were friends and they would say, I don't know, just weren't very supportive of it. And I'm like, I know it's very different. And I live in Washington state, not even in LA or anything. And vlogging, YouTube, all this stuff is like so normal in LA. It's so normal. No one would think it was weird, but in Washington, it's very weird. I literally don't know one person that vlogs. I mean, now they've started to, but before I did it, literally knew not one person like personally that vlogged. It was very new and it was always something that I was interested in. In the beginning, yes, I will say that I was I was nervous to post things too and it was embarrassing to me, but the first couple of videos I posted, the only reason I really started the channel in the first place, if you don't already know the stories, because a lot of my friends suggested, not a lot, a few of my friends, continually kept suggesting to me that I needed to start a YouTube channel because I shared a lot of stories on Snapchat. They thought they were hilarious and they're like, you need to share on YouTube. And I was like, yeah, I don't, I just don't know. Like that seems like, just a lot first of all it seems like a lot of work second of all like honestly that's embarrassing and I didn't want to put myself out there like that and I've gotten obviously way more comfortable on the camera but if you go watch some of my older videos I've thought about deleting them because I'm like I was so awkward and you can tell that I like felt weird I wasn't fully like I shared funny stories but my personality was just like not authentic I guess you could tell that I wasn't fully comfortable so yeah it was weird for me in the beginning the way I got over it was uh I just did it anyway and you kind of like to get over something you kind of just have to do it honestly like it's the worst thing to hear I know it's not very helpful I mean it is helpful but it's the hardest thing to do and it's something that like nobody wants to do but to get over something you literally just I just spit but to get over something you literally just have to do it I just started doing it like at first I did it and it was embarrassing to me and I heard some things people said that they do not know to this day that I know that they said and it was hurtful to me and I was like okay but then I hit this point where I was like all right uh, that's not a supportive friend. That's not the kind of friend I want in my life because I'm not doing anything bad. I think if I was like, well, I don't want to bash anyone's job here, but if I was doing something questionable and uh, my friends were like, you know, I don't really think that's a good idea, then they're, I think they're just looking out for me, but this is different because there's nothing wrong with YouTube. There's nothing wrong with doing this. It's just different and weird because like it's not super common, at least where I live. And people would say some things that were really hurtful and I heard about it and it was really hurtful, but then I was like, you know, I'm not even gonna confront them about it. I just kind of decided like, that's not the kind of friends I want in my life because I know it's different and weird, but it's something that I enjoy. And I think if people are really there for you and they're really on your team and they really love you, they're gonna support whatever you do. As long as it's not hurting anyone else, not harming anyone else, they're gonna support whatever you do. And if they don't, it's honestly probably not the right kind of person to be in your life, as hard as that is to hear. That was pretty much the advice I gave her. I told her, yes, like I have felt uncomfortable. It was really awkward for me. It was really embarrassing. I got hurt by people's opinions only because they were close to me. It's a lot easier to not get hurt by a stranger saying something to you, which I've actually, this is interesting. I made a video about this before talking about how not to be offended or how you can like never get hurt again. Basically the, the mindset behind it is like, is when someone you don't know says something hurtful to you, it doesn't really hurt your feelings because like, you know that they don't know you. But when someone that you hold in high regard and you really respect and really love in your life says something hurtful to you and they don't support you, like it's a lot more painful to hear that. I was really offended by it and it kind of scared me away from YouTube and I was a little bit more shy at first. You know, you just gotta, you just gotta get over it. If this is really something that you want to do, nothing anyone says is gonna stop you from doing it. So I think if you are being stopped from other people's opinions, you really must not want it that bad. And that's kind of the harsh truth, but I'm just being honest. The girl that was messaging me today was saying like, when she sees YouTubers and stuff on here, it makes it, they just seem so comfortable. And she's like, they never seem awkward or embarrassed to post a video. 
And I'm like, yeah, I get that. But she's watching the most recent videos. I'm like, you should go back to the beginning of the channel, very beginning of anyone's channel, beginning of my channel, go watch my first video. Like I kind of look comfortable, but like 90% of the time I look uncomfortable. You can tell that I feel weird about it. And the kind of stuff you don't see is when the camera's turned off and people are saying stuff about me and they're telling my friends other things about me and they tell me what they said and like just drama. You don't need that in your life. Just do what you want to do. And honestly, like if someone has that much time to sit there and talk about your life, like, okay, maybe they need a hobby or something. That actually blows my mind. Like I would never tell someone else what to do with their life as long as it's not harming someone. Like who cares? Who cares if I do YouTube? How does this affect anyone else's life? I'm sorry, I'm getting like fired up right now. The point is, if you care enough and this is something you actually want to do, it's not gonna matter what other people think. Yes, I was uncomfortable in the beginning, but the more I kept doing it, like probably like 15 videos in, I felt super comfortable with it. And when people would say stuff, I was like, <laughs> whatever, like I enjoy it. And I would never tell you what to do with your life. I would never tell you to stop knitting if you liked knitting. I wouldn't tell you to stop baking cakes. I wouldn't tell you to stop playing football. Like if you like that, you like that. Like we're all different people. I don't know how like it physically doesn't make sense to me how someone has that much time on their hands that they can sit there and tell someone else not to enjoy something. Like, do you see how ridiculous that is? Okay, so that's my point. Like, just, it doesn't matter. Who cares? Yeah, I, I just have nothing else to say about it. It doesn't matter. And if people are saying stuff like that to you, then like, great, good for them. It shouldn't matter, keep doing you, that's all. Thanks for tuning into this episode and I will see you in episode wait i think i said the wrong one this was episode two <laughs> i'll see you in episode three okay bye <laughs>